Okay. Um, so, what was this study that we were looking at? So, we run a first year unit which is designed to teach students practical academic skills. Like somebody else was saying earlier, uh, we get them to do academic writing and literature searching and all of those things. Um, so, it's now been running for about eight years. And our question was, how effective is this at developing those skills, at, at supporting the students as they transition from school to university? And are the, teach are the skills that we decide to teach uh, appropriate and the ones the students actually need? This is in the context of a Bath University-wide programme of curriculum transformation. So all of our degrees are undergoing transformation process. And as part of that, we're going to divide this practical and academic skills module into practical skills and academic skills. And there's actually going to be two modules on academic skills. So basic ones in year one, moving into year two. So we do need to get these, these skills right. So the hypotheses that Janella came up with, it's, as I say, it's very much her work, is uh, that the portfolio of skills that we're um, offering is appropriate for this transition from school to university, um, that students perceive it's important for their future career to develop these skills. And uh, we hoped that the taught module improves the acquisition of these skills. So how did you go about it? So we started off with focus groups, um, first year and final year focus groups to kind of define the question. And from these focus groups, we came up with 16 skills, should be a bit further down. Um, so everything from sort of presentation skills, critical thinking, uh, organizational skills, these came out of these focus groups as being important skills um, that the students would like to develop. And then we used questionnaires. Uh, we sent these questionnaires to the four, three bioscience subjects that we teach at Bath and the natural scientists. Um, we sent it to all four of these three subjects. We sent it across first, second, and third years. And we did this in week four of the academic year. So quite close to the beginning. So the first years really haven't had much training yet. Uh, and then we, what the final question was, would you like to take further part in this um, research? And then we had a much longer questionnaire, which we sent to those students who said they would like to help us further. Um, and we, we analyzed this with uh, T-tests and further statistics, and because we, we got quite a good response. So we sent out to 900 students and we got 23% of those responded. Uh, we thought, you probably can't read that from there. Um, these are the, the top pie chart shows the four different um, degree subjects, so biochemistry, biology, biomed, and the natural scientists in blue. And the other pie chart shows the number of respondents per year of study. So we got good response from all years and from um, all the degree subjects. <coughs> so looking at the results across all the years, this is a bar chart showing how much the students develop uh, valued increasing their skills. So goes from one to five, where five is very highly um, valued, these skills. And the blue ones are practical skills and the brown ones are academic skills. So you can see that most highly valued were the academic skills. They um, identified these as being most important, um, perhaps over the practical skills. No practical skills, 50% of them still valued practical skills. What came out quite clearly um, was that time management and organization, they identified as being the most important skills that you needed to succeed at university. So this is my table of skills. I'm gonna keep presenting it in, in different ways so that you can see what the results showed. So I've colored in red, 
the skills that the students thought were already well developed before they started university. So uh, teamwork, study skills, organizational skills, time management, they reckoned they needed to know all of these, have all of these skills before they came. Uh, I would argue about resilience um, and problem solving skills. I think those probably have to be developed a bit more in the university context. Um, then throughout year one, they reckoned that all of these other skills were developed. Um, so the only ones that are not um, developed during year one were teamwork, study skills and organisational skills. And both the first year and final year students thought that actually they had those skills sufficiently, um, which is interesting because I was going to put some teamwork type activities into the skills unit. So um, we're looking, in order to decide whether the skills unit that we have improves uh, the skills, we try to look at the difference between second year students who've just finished the first year skills unit and uh, the first year students who've really just arrived from university, uh, from school. And Gratifyingly, um, the things that we tried to teach, that presentation skills, academic writing, scientific writing, laboratory and research skills, they did recognize that those were improved um, during the first year. Um, the only issue is that, so the first years in biosciences have this formal unit where they're taught all these skills. The natural scientists didn't, um, and yet the natural scientists had no statistical difference in acquiring all these skills as the biosciences did. So it might be that um, we don't actually need to provide these. Obviously we do for the, the uh, laboratory and research skills, natural scientists would get those, um, but it might be that if you're um, academic, study is sufficiently broad, you pick up a lot of different skills uh, that you don't if it's if you're just studying a single subject. Um, so the students had lots of ideas on, as we've heard in other talks, on how to improve uh, different aspects of skills. And the ones I wanted to focus on was resilience and problem solving and leadership. <coughs> so to try and improve their resilience, they came up with this old chestnut of resubmitting, an so submitting an assignment, getting feedback, resubmitting the same assignment. Um, that obviously requires a lot of staff time um, to do that. They also wanted to increase their resilience by participating in real research. Um, so we tried to frame the first year skills unit in terms of projects. So they are learning skills and putting them in context of a project. Um, but obviously, obviously, in the first year, we are trying to teach them the skills so the practicals usually work. Um, they want to experience failure um, and learn how to overcome failure. Um, they, many of them do this in the second year when they do placement applications and they, they learn that um, you, most people get a placement even if they have to make 15 or 20 applications. So they do learn resilience, but it's again in the second year. They suggested the guest speakers coming in and explaining how their career had panned out, that everything doesn't always work. I don't know whether they would attend those. <coughs> um, problem solving, they suggested we could give them a problem and get them to try and solve it in the lab, um, or perhaps do this in workshops. And again, we do do this in the second year. Leadership, um, this is a word cloud of all their responses, and basically they want to do more group work, um, which we will take forward. So in conclusion, um, the students, value their skills acquisition. We could see that in the first bar chart. Um, the transition to university, uh, we are supporting the majority of their skills, 
though the natural science experience shows some of the skills they gain indirectly just by coming to university. Um, that's what that line is. So if we look at my skills table again, uh, what I've done here is colored them in about when the students gain these skills. So they think they have study skills, organizational skills and teamwork pre-university, I've colored those in blue. Um, they consider they developed during the first year um, laboratory skills, research skills, critical thinking, interpersonal skills. The other ones, uh, so the ones I've colored in red are the three that I had on the previous slide, which I think we might be able to incorporate in the skills unit. Um, I'm a bit surprised they didn't notice they were getting analytical skills at the same time as they were getting research skills and laboratory skills. Um, and I definitely know some students whose time management could be improved. So, yeah. Um, so all of this is going into informing the design of a new skills unit um, to try and explicitly train them in some of these things. So. Um, my con final conclusion is that all of this was based on student opinion. It was very much a student-led project. Um, so there may be other skills that people could identify that we didn't cover. Obviously, this is only in the biosciences. This is a bioscience conference, so that's fine. Um, it's only looking at our institution. Um, and so... I don't know whether I could increase this to look at other subjects to um, in, interact with other universities or even talk to schools. My project student has now gone on to do a PGCE, so she's very interested in um, the school uh, outlook. Um, yeah, and that, that's about it. And she had a question on Padlet. Did you find any differences in responses to their skills? confidence and or importance in relation to student demographics? Well, we didn't separate them by demographic. Okay. Maybe uh, after, isn't it? Yeah, Bath is, um, I don't know, it's predominantly um, very narrow demographic and it's something the university is always trying to draw broaden. But <laughs> um, um, so, uh, you said your students apparently wanted to do more group work. Yes. That's uh, a unique finding in the second <laughs> They, I don't know what other students, are, but they, they quite like hiding in a group rather than being picked on as a single person. We've done, we've done skills. Yes, sorry. Um, we've, uh, introduced a skill, a practical skills test at the end of the first year, and they are absolutely terrified at someone watching them do something. So I think group work is something that they they feel might they might be happier with. 